motherfucking turkey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have one of those reverse cameras when it's videoing. It's only reverse camera when it's a camera. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm down here in Mississippi, as you all probably know. And we just went to Tupelo for the half price Walmart stuff. Y'all are wrong for that. Look, I'll pay full price. I am not That's what I'm saying. Person. I almost threw this woman a five dollar bill and told her to get the hell back. People were taking stuff out of my cart. It was I'm bad. too old to fight people anymore. Bad. Not really, but it was bad. But I did chank up some uh, yeah, pajamas. Pajamas. They were on clearance for three dollars. Just one pair is three dollars, and I got three pair for three dollars each. Self checker. <laughs> That's what you get. Self checker. What you get. Walmart distribution. Anyway, so it's so so nice to be back down here. Rusty mask. I'm gonna tag you, buddy. If I knew where you was, I'd come and just beat the hell out of you just one last time. I don't know. I don't know where you're at, and honestly, I'm too damn tired and fat to find you. Hey, Rusty. Out, out. We'll, we'll meet up in Montana. You already know the deal. That's the that's the deal. Remember that? Like, I ain't going back to Montana. Shit, I ain't going. Going to Montana. I would like to buy one of those little tiny RVs though and redo it, like they do in Montana. I like always have wanted one of those, I guess because I'm trying to trash from way back. One of those is like 8 foot wide, 25 foot That's what I'm talking about. It has a sliding door. Yes, yes. It's cute. You know, it's cute. Oh, cute. Chairs. And yeah. Like French country yeah. on the inside like they Adorable. do. Adorable. I know. I want to remodel it. If they was, trash I'm going to try I'm going to try, okay. I'm going to try to film this so that you guys can see. Dead trees? No, it's Mississippi different than Ohio. Oh, yeah, because we, <laughs> we don't have any snow. Well, and see, you guys think we have red clay up there. No, you have no idea. The red clay down here is re dick. Now, back to what I was saying. Frank, we left the men at home. Oh, but they went running out. Frank was up, I swear to God. 2.30. 2.15, ready to rock and roll, wondering why Mark wasn't up. Why she a fire? Mark, you know, Mark left at 1.45, <laughs> he needed a nap. Oh my God, y'all, you missed it because. Oh, uh, no, that's a fun game, we're gonna probably do that. Yeah. yeah, we played Heads Up from um, Ellen. It's like the generic version, but whatever. Anyway. You're on the film. Oh. <laughs> anyway, funny shit. Mark and Frank cannot play gay. Oh they, my god. They, well, they can't read. <laughs> they just can't read. God love them. They work in some oh, of the bitches, but they can't read. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, they got up this morning and they went hunting. We let the, left the puppies there. We were just like, we oh, we're, we're out. So we go to Cracker Barrel. Tell them what happened. Oh, in the motherfucking G. Oh my God. Look here. We go in there. We had to wait 20 minutes, which is fine because all their stuff's 70% off. So we pilfered in there, whatever. So we got a table. To, we sat there for an hour. One hour. Finally got the dead gum chow. Eggshell in my egg. Minus an egg. Monica's eggs were supposed to be over easy. I was only supposed to get one. One. She got two, and these things were rubber Sick. bouncing. And that girl's like, I'm like, ah, uh, and where's my grits and my gravy and everything like that? She never bigger than me. She said, I'll get it for you. And I'm like, there's supposed to be another egg here. She said, I'll get it for you. I'm like, you know what? This is what I did. I went, well, fuck if I have to wait that long for the next <laughs> one. Forget it. I said, you know what? Tell you what we're going to do. You're going to give me a ticket for these two teas, and we got them. Yep. Yep, she said, she no, did. no, no, you girls don't owe me anything. Oh, well, you owe me this hour of my That's life. That's what I'm never saying. Get back. And they don't take that into consideration. And I know they're busy. Oh, I know. Oh my God. There they is don't take that shell. They, listen, if you are cooking and you are cooking in a restaurant and you can't get it down to break an egg, sweetie, no. Yeah. But you know, they probably called in temp help. Temp help. You know, if you're a temp at Cracker Barrel, you got you're your sights high. Mm -hmm. If you are a temp at Cracker Barrel, you're pissed anyway. 
If you're not pissed, you ought to be. I promise you. No, really? <laughs> I'm just saying. So, anyway, so we come back to Pontotoc. It's smaller, closer to home. Ugh, gotta get some corn. And gotta get some corn for the deer. You know, because they haven't even seen one today. So, let's feed them. Here's... Um, I told no, Mark... No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is how much is this corn going to be? He wants 500 pounds of corn. What are we feeding the Buffalo Ranch? 500 pounds? That's a lot of corn. Did he say five or 50? How much did he say when he ate it? Did he say 500 pounds? I can't imagine he'd say 50 because that ain't really much. And 50 pounds I think he much. said 500 pounds because Bradley said, hell, that's half a pallet. Well, I guess we load and chick -a -chick. You told him it'd fit in this car. I she drives a freaking Honda. Hey, don't make fun of the golf cart. What the it paid for? It's paid for. It ain't gonna haul 500 pounds of deer corn. And how I much? I can get some shit in here. How much Benadryl is it gonna take to put in that deer corn? I was gonna say how much Benadryl is gonna take me to get home. Well, I'm gonna need about half a bottle. <laughs> right. I told I told Mark to put uh, Benadryl in the deer corn. Then they wouldn't, you know, they'd be able to get one. But today is their first day out, and is this recording? Yeah, six minutes twenty nine seconds, thirty. Oh, she beeping. I'm gonna take a pause because she done shanked her nose. <laughs> 